Hi, this is Linda Whitup, Director of Technology Services at Tech Impact. What you should be seeing is my Skype for Business account on my screen. The contacts that you see on my screen right now are mostly, they're all my coworkers, and they're in my favorites group. So what I do is, I have you know, particular coworkers that I work with often and I want to go ahead and use Skype with a lot, so I add them to my favorite section. You'll also see that we've set up a Skype group and my Office 365 administrator set up a Skype group called Help Desk. And people that are in the Help Desk group, but right now there's only John, but John's in the Help Desk group and he's also part of my favorites. So he's going to show up twice. Other contacts is a group that are outside of our Office 365 realm. So these are people who are Skype users or Skype for Business users, but not part of the Tech Impact Skype for Business. So I'm going to take a, just show you how to find someone. So there's two ways to find someone in Skype for Business. So if I wanted to find someone in, so I'm going to type in Mark just to demonstrate what I showed you on the thing. So I'm using Skype for Business and I'm in the search bar here and I'm typing in Mark. As soon as I start to type something into the search bar, it starts to pull up everybody from, you see that it's searching my contacts. Mark, there's a guy named Mark Dixon, presence unknown. Why? Because he doesn't work for Tech Impact. He works for Bicycle Colorado. But here's one, Alicia Dennis Leone. Her name's not Mark. Why does she show up? Because she's in mid Mark et. So anything with M A R K in it is going to show up here, and this is from my contact list. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do Susan. All right, so Susan, here's all the Susans in my contact list. But what I want to do is I want to search for Susans in the Skype directory. So, so I'm going to look for Susan Hope Bard, and so I'm typing, I'm clicking on Skype directory, and I know that Susan's Skype name is Susan dot Hope. There she is. So it's oh, once I find her in the Skype directory, what I can do is I right click on her name. And I'm going to add her to either my favorites or my other contact group list. So I'm going to add Susan to the favorite. And what happens is as I add Susan to my Skype contact list, it's going to notify me that they've sent Susan a contact request. So on Susan's computer now she's got an, a request that Linda wants to add you to Skype. And then if she accepts it, She'll show up in my list. She'll show up in my favorites list um, as either you know as available or presence unknown. And then I can go ahead and right click on her and do things like send her an instant message and or start a video call or any of those things that I can do with Skype for Business.